Hello, hello. Welcome to Jake Goop Village. We've got an exciting crew with us today. You know, uh, most of you know Mia and myself, and we've got Jessica and Katie. Um, only our loungers typically know Jessica and Katie. They're, they help us kind of behind the scenes with our, they're a couple of our travel coaches, travel advisors. Um, and we're, we've got a, a fun compare and contrast story for you today. Um, that, you know, we're going to talk about one of our meetups where Jessica and Katie and Stephanie, one of our other travel coaches, all went and hosted a Jegu meetup in Dallas. And I did not get to go. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, Jessica, Katie, thanks for joining us. Of course. Thanks for having us. Good to see you. Full house today. This is exciting. Yeah. Right. Y'all are getting access to the cream of the crop here and our experts. So enjoy it. And listen, the most important thing, we want you to comment. So if you haven't been here before, of course, this is Jay Goop Village. But the more that you comment, the better chance you have to win our travel savings card. Joel, show him. He usually does his little travel now. savings card. We're going to give Boop. a few of these away today. Worth a hundred dollars, which is fantastic. So again, the more that you comment, first of all, Facebook loves a good algorithm. So keep commenting. And then we're going to do a random number generator poll at the end of it. But Joel, you also have a couple of fun quiz comments or yeah. quiz questions in it, right? Yeah, we always like to that. make sure that you're benefiting from this. Uh, so we'll have a couple quizzes. Uh, so stick around and the first to answer those quizzes correctly will get a hundred dollar travel savings card as well. And we always yes. like to know who we're talking to. We do. So we, uh, pulled up that yes. uh, that link below. Visit that so we can address you by name when you ask your questions. And let me show you the difference between that. We have Keith. Thank you, Keith. Keith is in. And then we have a user. It's Peggy, though. So thank you for saying that, Peggy from North Carolina. So that's the great difference is we can actually see who it is and shout you out by name. So hi there. Hello from Denver. We have a lot of folks in here, too. So Joel, let's dive in. We have yeah. two experts here that I want to hear what they have to say. All right. So yeah, today is a tale of two cities. We're going to talk about two different trips that happened during the same weekend. Uh, one that I took, one that Jessica and Katie and Stephanie, our travel coaches, uh, as well as a lot of our Jagoot Lounge members took. And we're going to just kind of compare those two trips because it's a very interesting um, comparison. Um, so a little bit of background on this, uh, we, we do quarterly meetups for our Jagoot lounge members. And for anyone new to the group, we have Jagoot village, which you're watching here. That's our free Facebook group where we teach you how to travel for free. And the strategies we'll, we teach will easily get you a free budget vacation every year, maybe even a little more if you get good at it. Jagoot lounge is our paid coaching program where we teach you how to get a free luxury vacation that typically costs three to 10 times as much, at least one of those a year. Um, so the difference is, you know, free, poke around all you like, paid, got to pay to play, getting those valued first cl class seats, getting those valued penthouse suites takes a bit of extra effort. That's what we do in Jagoot Lounge. And that's what the, these gatherings are. So this is our meetup in Denver. We got about a dozen members together, several coaches. Um, there's Jessica, there's Katie. Um, mm. We all got together. San Diego, that was a bigger one. We, we had uh, about 30 members show up and four or five coaches as well. Um, and then we just recently meet up. So that's Katie mm -hmm. there on the left. That's Jessica and her husband, Casey. Stephanie is another one of our travel coaches. And this was what, Katie, this was this was early on. And, and actually, <laughs> Jessica, this was your suite, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, we actually were able to secure the penthouse suite. Um, it took a bit of work and a lot of diligence that I probably would not have put forth previous to my time in the lounge. But um, we actually were able to secure that upgrade at no extra cost using a suite award, which is not supposed to be possible, but I texted and emailed and all the things. And um, it was a two story room that was 1600 square feet. Um, and wow. I got it for $129 a night. 
it's supposed to be like twelve hundred dollars a night. So, so yeah, it's keep my all time win price, up folks. to this point. <laughs> Yeah, definitely keep note of that price you're at because that's usually the the one room with the window towards the alleyway cost. Right. Yep. Right. I'm yeah. show you <laughs> or or the kind where you pull your car right up and park in front of your door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Just pull your bag right out. And I know Melinda, right? She says, Wow. That's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, and, and those Melinda. of you who've not been to Dallas mm -hmm. before, that the view from this suite was the primo view of the city. So Dallas is my hometown. And, and not only was the suite itself fantastic, but they clearly positioned this suite to take advantage of the best view of the city. So it was amazing. Right. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, and I didn't get to enjoy this trip. Um, no, so you still heard about it. I know. Sadly, <laughs> um, I, we, my grandmother died. Wow. And this is her celebration of life. My grandmother Aww. and grandfather had 11 kids. I was one of 32 grandkids. And we have uh, 67 and counting great grandkids. Um, and uh, so all but three made it um, for this yeah. celebration of life. So I couldn't miss that. Um, uh -huh. And, you know, I mean, big family gathering. I didn't have a choice on where I was going to stay. I'm kind of a Hyatt snob myself, as you, from these pictures, you'll see why. But, uh, you know, A, there's not even a Hyatt in Pueblo, Colorado. And B, most of the family was gathering at one place that was close to where everything was going on. So I basically stayed at a Quality Inn. And it was sl only slightly less than the $129 that Jessica and Katie paid. Um, Katie, is that what you paid too? I can't remember if I paid 129 or 109. It was one of the two, but I had the healthcare rate because I'm a nurse. So um, it was either 109 or 129. Can't remember exactly. I can look okay. at it. I'm going to hide it out and see. Which is I'm wondering. I think mine was 109. Um, and it, I don't know exactly what it is. I just saw. So my parents did it. So all of our family could be together. But this is where we were. And this was a very humbling reminder for me because it's been a while since I've really done any budget travel. Um, and it was just, it, it was absolutely just mind boggling comparing my experience on the very same weekend while everyone in Jagut Lounge was poaching, posting all of their trip pictures from their trip in Dallas. And it's just a night and day difference as you'll see from these pictures. So uh, yeah, I traveled. It was a reminder of how I used to always travel when I didn't have a strategy for being able to do this before I started Jagut Lounge on showing people how to travel better. Um, my rate was 109, Joel. Wow, for my yeah, suite, that's, that's which we'll get to that. Pretty but. sure what I paid 109. Me. So, this and was thank our... you for all the comments, by the way, Joel. Everybody's giving you some good com comments on the loss of your grandmother. Oh, yeah. It was so a beautiful already. tribute. Oh, it really was. So, yeah, you got to, I mean, you got to go do that. And Katie, somebody else says, wow, I just love health care. After 40 years, I never knew I could get a discount rate. So <laughs> that that's what it came about during the pandemic, where a lot of people were recognizing us for what we were legitimately struggling through. Um, and Hyatt extended that rate. And I think it will be good for another. I forgot how many more months, but it's 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 still active. So it's very helpful. Definitely very awesome. helpful. Awesome. Thank you. And, and that's one of those things that I didn't fully realize before my time in the lounge. Like I know that it's out there, but I didn't realize all of the little ins and outs of being able to ask for different rates. If you're a healthcare worker, um, we're getting ready to have another meetup for our lounge group in Chicago. And my husband is a government employee and there's a government rate. So I just never even really thought to look into any of that stuff previous to my time in the lounge and really kind of just some stuff is like kind of aha dumb moments that we share with each other where we're like, Oh, uh, maybe I should have known to look for a triple a rate or a government rate or a nursing rate. Um, but yeah, sorry. No good shares. You're absolutely right, Jessica. There's a lot of that. When you see these meetups and all these pictures, that's all we do is sit around and, and our happy hours in the lounge every Wednesday, we just sit mm -hmm. around and share that really good information. So, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's a good group. And, you know, it's it's um th th about that community too. Like none of us know can know it all, and sometimes we just throw it out there. I'm the founder of the company, and I have other coaches and other members offering suggestions that help me. So, um, you know, you don't you don't see that in the big groups, even in Jegu Village, because there's such a wide variety of who really knows what they're talking about. You know, a lot of people actually give bad advice in the free groups out there. Um, yeah. We try to monitor that. We 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 monitor a lot of those comments and delete or or correct a lot of those comments. But it's it's really hard to keep control. And that's what Jegu Lounge exists for. It's for serious travelers only. And then, you know, I mean, what's the phrase? Steel sharpens steel. We all can help each other out with those little times. So I'm going to put in a comment free coaching and I apologize in advance. Look at gorgeous Katie. And then when I do the comments, I have to cover her up. I'm sorry. We tried to move Joel down here and, and we just couldn't do it. So I apologize in advance for that, but comment free coaching and we can get you scheduled for a call. It is not a sales call. It's just information about this group too. So, and we all came from not having information until we talked to Joel. So uh, please go ahead and comment that and then we'll get in touch with you. All right, yeah. let's talk about your sad breakfast here, Joel. Yeah, this was, um, you know, like our hot breakfast was a choice between, you know, a, a waffle maker and some stale biscuits that had oh, yeah. gravy in a crock pot. Oh. Um, you know, I mean, a, a, a typical budget hotel breakfast. Did it, did it fit the bill for breakfast? Sure. Does it compare to what, what you become accustomed to when you start to travel the Jagut way? not a chance and we'll we'll get into that um and our rate was 109 um for a basic budget room um any complaints no because i was with my my family you know it's rare that we all get together um with those kind of numbers it's impossible that it ever happens uh regularly um so glad i did it didn't have you know didn't really get into using points or whatever we just got together and it was a budget hotel it was what it was but while we were there um you know we were getting all these pictures that we're about to show you so let's just do one little educational thing give a savings card away and do one of one of our famous quizzes and let's talk about the trip that i just did so we talk about being able to travel for free uh if you book a hundred nine dollar room for free Using 20,000 points, is that a good deal? So this is a two-part question. Is that a good deal? Yes or no? And then what is the redemption value of that uh, booking? So first person to answer, let's just look at the comments, make sure we get that in there um, before we show the answer. So good answer, no, but you got to answer two parts. So okay. yes, that, and can you I just are correct. throw this that comment in here? It deal. takes a team with wonderful deals, who, who leaders who really care about sharing the information. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank you, whoever said that. We appreciate it. Thank you. And yeah, if you would click good. on StreamYard, we'd know who you were. And we would love to know who you are. Get it, Jessica. We love our like regulars. That. Especially if we've talked to you on the phone before. I love to see people. I talked to so many of you on the phone. And yes. really get to know about your family and your travel. And I'd love to oh. love to kind of see who you are. So please yes. link the stream yard. It's, it's no it's, there's no catch. It's it's not, you're not gonna get spammed. It's just it's just so we can see who's who's talking to us. You guys are awesome. I love it. Thank you. Okay, Joel. Oh, All right. So we see uh and this is basically uh 0 0.005 per point. So 0 0.005, that's a dollar that's half, you know, 0 0.005 of a dollar, that's half of a penny per point, which is a terrible redemption. And we see this happen all of the time. We see people who say, oh yeah, I booked, you know, a week for free. And, you know, it was a hundred thousand, like in this case, it would be a hundred thousand point redemption, but the, all they're getting is a half a penny per point for that redemption. That's terrible. Um, and most people have no idea that you can actually do different things with points. You don't have to settle for an iPad. You don't have to settle for a budget hotel because you only have so many points. You want to hold out for those extremely valuable redemptions. I'm taking my family to Italy next month. And so which would you rather have? Five nights 
in the in this hotel I just showed you or round trip business class on a $6,000 flight on the best aircraft in the world. Not all points are created equal and not all redemptions, even more important, not all redemptions are equal. So very, very, very important. A lot of people complain about how long these webinars are. You can quit right now if you write this down. Never, ever, ever redeem points for less than a penny a piece. Aim for two, five, 10, 25 cents a piece. That's what you're holding out for those extremely valuable points for. So we have lessons on this. If you haven't seen our two principles training, this goes over that. This spells out how to really understand the value of those hard earned points. Comment two principles and one of our free coaches uh, will send that off to you. That might be Katie. Um, we've also got Shannon and Anthony uh, working behind the scenes right now. So, so uh, comment two principles will show you how to calculate that value or how to calculate when you should pay cash for a for a, a, a hotel or a flight. Anything and to add, from above, coaches? That's what I'm, I'm going to just say, Brooke from above, that's my new name from her. for her, says that Melinda Ryburn was the winner. So congrats, Melinda. And Congratulations, Brooke will get Melinda. in touch with you. Yay. Yes, ladies, you have anything to add on that? I'm, no, just, I'm, just, just that I have to, I have to get my calculator out every single time. So I got my calculator out that time. I did too. I don't know. I don't know if you saw my face. Because I, I wanted like, to play along. <laughs> like, oh gosh, that's horrible. Like I knew it wasn't going to be good. But then when I put it in there, I was like, oh, that hurt. I thought little. I'd done my math wrong. The redemption was so bad. Because in the lounge, we get used <laughs> to seeing things over five cents. Um oh. And, and still people wanting to hedge those points for even better than five times what many people get in the portal or redeeming with a hotel directly. So mm -hmm. yeah, when, when we see this very believable real life example of half a penny a point, for those of yeah. us that do this and study this and have, have gone over and over this in the lounge, that looks so strange and foreign, you think you've got a decimal wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're encouraging you guys to, to think about is that decimal places when you're talking about money add up to a lot of money. And so if you can move the decimal point by learning how to do this, all of a sudden you're traveling in ways you've you've never, never done before. Mm -hmm. And and I want to say that I used to be that person who didn't know to do the math. And I was. I don't know if I was, oh, I hope I wasn't making that redemption, but you know, <laughs> I, I may have been making those redemptions. Like I was the girl that was like, heck yeah, I racked up 117, you know, thousand points on my card and now I can get a thousand dollars in free travel. Whoop, whoop. And now I'm like, oh Jesus, no, like, yeah. you know, I'm going to, I'm going to pay cash for that flight. Cause that's, I, I'm not, I don't want to redeem for that. I'm kind of a hoarder. I think I learned it from Katie. Oh, I'm, I'm a, a point hoarder. hoarder. I learned it from me. You learned it Thank from me. You. I'm such a bad hoarder. But Katie and I are also probably some of the really great people in the lounge at finding cash deals. So we talk a lot about our credit card deals and our luxury travel through credit cards. But actually, um, this past that weekend in Dallas, that suite in Dallas, guys, I lied. Um, I was in Nashville before I went to Dallas, and that was. 129 a night, which if you're used to, if you've looked at a room in Nashville lately, like that's not a thing. Um, it was 109 for that room a night yeah. in, um, in um, Dallas. So, you know, rule number one, go where the deals are, get that great cash deal. Rule number two, hoard points like Katie and I, so that when mm -hmm. it's against your sensibilities to pay the price, <laughs> you can still go on that trip. I love this quote. Good information creates more great trips. Amen. Whoever mm -hmm. that is. Well, most of us are passionate about sharing this because we've been there before. And now that we now that we know what we know, looking back, it's so painful to see our friends so traveling. Painful. Away. It's so painful to see family doing that. And here we are trying to just share that information so less people make those mistakes. Amen. So let's All let's right. let's talk about Dallas. We had so much fun. This this is just my one of my favorite parts of the lounge because, you know, I, it the stuff we learn is great, but the community that we built is 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 what makes it rock and roll. 
So these yeah. pictures are, are from Linda Molesworth. Linda is a member of our, our lounge and she got there a little bit early. Um, she actually got there a few hours before I did, before I drove into town because I live kind of in the suburbs. But she went to the Dallas Zoo because she is a, um, she's a veterinarian. Love it. Yeah. How cute and then, is that? I don't that? know if you can click right here, Joel, but right there in the center under the carousel horses is a little video. Will it let you click and play the video? Yeah. Okay, so this was my suite at the Hyatt, and it was pretty sweet, sweet, because you had this remote, and then it opened up to the view of the two beautiful bridges in Dallas, which are gorgeous at night. And I had this huge bay window with leather recliners. And this suite, because I have globalist status, I got this entire suite for $109 a night. And I just got it by asking very nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, I got and it was crazy so there, cool, you guys. This suite was really great. It wasn't as you know fancy as the suite that Jessica was in. But it was so classy and, you know, it was so wonderful for the for the situation we were in. Just having lots of friends together. You know, it's kind of hard to hang out in a hotel room and have people sitting on your bed that you're going to sleep in, in a few hours. So having the sitting area and the conference table, we had plenty of room. We we kind of figured it out that my suite, even had Jessica not gotten the Supremo upgrade, my suite would have sat in the sitting room almost uh, about 15 people. So we would have been able to get together and have our jam sessions and talk about travel and ask questions with the experts right there in a suite that's not even considered a premium suite by Hyatt. Mm -hmm. It's just a standard suite. There it is. There's looking from the bedroom. So and it's funny you say that like we had we had family gatherings uh, in Pueblo. And we had to go down and do them in the lobby, which still wasn't as big as this. The lobby in our hotel wasn't as big as this suite. And we paid the exact same 109 for the room. Just for perspective. Look um, at that. Wow. So I saw a comment by Richard. Um, I might can add it. He was asking, who do you ask? Um, well, you asked nicely. First of all, front desk. It, it's mm -hmm. about it's about having status with the hotel. So not just everyone can ask for these upgrades. You actually have the right as a globalist to get upgraded to um, a better room. Now, oftentimes, without asking nicely, they won't just offer these great rooms to you. You do have to ask. I did tell them that I was hosting a larger group and, and I knew that there was some sweet availability, at least according to their website, and, and just had a nice conversation with them. Uh, and I will say Dallas, uh, God bless them. They were a little more stingy than some hotels, we, some Hyatts we've been to. Uh, the Hyatt in San Diego was just incredibly generous to Globalist. This one, they can't complain. They gave us absolutely everything we were entitled to as, you know, per the terms of the Globalist uh, status. But um, yeah, you just have you just have to ask. But it is a factor of, of having that status and, and showing them that you're dedicated to them as as a hotel chain. And so let me throw this in here. Them. Thank you for that. And let me throw this in here. People uh, that we have some new folks want to know what a globalist is and, and how you got globalist status. I know we don't want to fall down the rabbit hole, but can we just talk to that? I can do that real fast. So globalist is the highest tier of status with Hyatt. So um, if you stay 60 nights a year in a Hyatt hotel, you achieve globalist status. Now, that being said, in the lounge, we are constantly sharing tips and tricks with each, with each other. So many of us um, took advantage of several promotions last year where we did not have to start at 60 nights. So if you are like me or you're like Katie, we're like, uh, no dog, we're not going to like say we're going to stay 60 nights. If you would have asked either one of us 12 months ago, we'd have been like, mm, I don't know about all that. But we got in for like the 20 or 30 night rate. And then once we did, and we started to realize all the benefits that came along with it. Um, I don't know. I can't speak to Katie. But for me and my family, um, my husband and I, we will probably do our darndest to remain globalist. Because 
of the benefits that we get. So these beautiful suites are one of the benefits. Um, another of the benefits is you get breakfast at whatever hotel that you're in. Right. Um, and so we met and had breakfast um, each morning together. That was one of the hotel, uh, one of the, the restaurants. There's a the nighttime dinner. view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got From some really suite. great nighttime picks from my suite too. Um, and then also if you use points, you got um, free parking. So uh, this is not about this particular trip. Well, actually I did on this trip too, but um, last weekend I did a staycation in my own city, drove downtown in St. Louis and stayed at um, the Hyatt there. And it was, um, I used points um, and I actually used points to book two rooms. Um, and the parking, the valet parking would have been $75. So the room itself was only going to be $129, but the valet parking was $75 more. So by booking that with my award points, um, I didn't have to pay for the valet. So I actually purposefully used points for that in a place where I normally maybe wouldn't have redeemed them. But because I knew that wasn't a $129 room, it was actually $75 more because mm -hmm. of the parking. Um, that I would have had to pay anyway. And then we got $50 in free breakfast too. So I love those are real bulls, by the way. Those are real yeah. Texas Longhorns. We went yeah, to Fort Worth to the stockyards and saw the Longhorns, um, you know, lazily marching down the, down the street. They'll get there when they get there, right? I, let me <laughs> tell no you what, sooner. those, those bulls are in zero hurry. Zero hurry <laughs> down the stockyards. So we try to that. do, and, and I think we try to do this in every city. We try to see the highlights of the city. Uh, you know, there were a couple people in our group who had never been to Texas before. And to do the rodeo, <laughs> which you're seeing now, and we actually went to a real live honky tonk. There is, okay, y'all, Linda Molesworth, are you on this live stream? Probably not. Linda's oh, a lounge yeah. member. A lot of times the lounge members are not on our live streams in the village, but Linda is a character. She um, decided she wanted to two-step at this honky-tonk, and she went and tapped a very young, very attractive cowboy on the shoulder and asked him to dance. And we were all just, you know, cheering and clapping. <laughs> and then we went down to Pioneer Park the next day. These, This is a, a beautiful um, area of Dallas where these are all sculpted out of bronze and uh, they're bigger than life size. And it's just a really cool place, very close to where we were. And when we have these get togethers, we do some things together, but we like to try to also let people have a little bit of space to breathe and, and do what they do best when they travel and see the things that interest them. And usually we break apart into little factions I think this I is in regards to that dancing person, that, that the uh, cowboy. <laughs> no. Is that he Linda? Was he, he was like fist pumping after the dance uh, with Linda. So he was I'm, happy. I'm gonna, so I, 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 here? I can't tell if it's her. I love this. Even Village helped me get to Globus for the first time last year. I agree mm -hmm. with it. We will keep trying to go forward. Helped by the world of Hyatt Card, of course. So. I know we're throwing a lot out at you all, but it's uh, there's there's a there's a lot. Well, let, to let's let's throw that out while we're talking about globalist. So globalist is a lot harder to obtain this year, but that's what the lounge is for. We talk about different strategies that make it a lot more attainable. There are multiple ways to either get status that will help you with these types of upgrades, or mimic that status. And those are all things we talk to talk about. There are ways to fast track earning that status through redemption multipliers. If you haven't seen our redemption multiplier video, we show you how to take these very mediocre points and multiply them in value so you can get much nicer redemptions, either much nicer redemptions or a lot more redemptions, which will get you closer to that status. So um, it all kind of snowballs and builds upon each other. So if you haven't seen our redemption multiplier training, comment. Redemption multipliers, one of our free coaches will get that off to you. So someone's asking if there's any deals or promotions to obtain Globalist this year. And so far, we haven't found that. Uh, it's kind of defaulted back to the 60 nights or the big spend uh, with Hyatt. But I will I will say this. The things, the, the changes that I have made in my, I, I'm first of all, let, let's just full disclosure, I am a cheapskate. I am the rule number one expert in the lounge. That is because I hold on to my money. I'm a registered nurse by profession. I work very hard for the money I earn and I don't like to waste it. So when this globalist promotion first came up, I was like, 
peace out guys. This is not for me. This is, this is not who I am. This is not how my family travels. I use hot wire. I don't mind staying in the La Quinta. I don't mind, you know, eating the waffle breakfast bothers me zero, which is still true. That is still true for me. Um, me and I'll go to my grave being that way. I mean, my kids have joked, I would still shop at Goodwill if I won the lottery, which is true. I just love a deal. Uh, I love it for more than just the money saved. But, um, you know, I started seeing everything that was going on. And I had a little bit of peer pressure from my buddy Mira. She was like, darling, why do you not try? It's going to be so easy. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Can I just so throw in here real quick? It's Stana Mira. In case you're wondering who that is, we call her Mira. So if you're looking for comments, look for anything from Stana Mira, S T A N I M I R A. Yeah, and, and just do all of that. So and that was an excellent imitation. That I needed to go for Globalist. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And let me tell you why I decided to pull the trigger because my family was going to stay five, uh, seven nights at a Hyatt anyway. And I had zero on my 524, which is how many cards Chase will allow you to have. So I had nothing to lose by getting the Hyatt card. And, and I will tell you that it was a little bit of a culture shock and a little bit of a friction in our family when I told my husband this, because he and I are very similar. So whenever I said that I was wanting to do this and chase this status with a fancy hotel, which is unlike anything we ever stay in, he was like, I don't think this makes good sense for us. He's like, don't be snooty. <laughs> Can you do the Jimmy like, accent too? It's like, <laughs> baby, these are ridiculous. We don't stay in this kind of hotel. We'll stay two nights in the Airbnb for this amount. Well, which is true. However, I just said, look, dude, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this this one time. I may never do it again, but I want to see what it's all about. And I will tell you that I probably do not get as jazzed up about the rooms as other people do, just because that's not my personality. But I get super jazzed up about the food. Um, we stayed at the Hyatt Centric in Charlotte. We had my children and I, my two teenagers and myself, had a $250 breakfast completely comped. And it was one of the best breakfasts I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. Um, the other I thing I breakfast. really like about pursuing status is that my old way of doing it, I sometimes had to worry about the neighborhood I was going to be in and especially traveling by myself with the kids. With Hyatt, I've not yet run into a Hyatt that was in a sketchy part of town that I had to worry about that. So I have come to understand that there's price and there's value. And this is the biggest take home that I have learned from my fellow experts in the lounge and from all of the 300 people in the lounge with excellent travel skills and, and sort of mindsets different than mine, is that I have to understand the difference in my life between value and price. So I have really enjoyed the value that it has brought to me. And I don't know if I will pursue Hyatt Globalist next year, but I do have a little flicker firework going in my brain about creative way to pursue another top hotel tier status that I may take the plunge into the icy water for the lounge and take one for the team and see how that goes. But it has opened my eyes. And, and one last thing, cause I'm, I'm long winded so people can time out, but my, my family got, we live in Dallas, which we've made clear. Um, we got stuck coming home from Hawaii in Phoenix because Dallas was iced in back in February. Remember the big ice storm. We were stuck for three days. No offense to the Phoenix people. We made the best time of it. We saw national parks. We rented a car. It was great. But we were stranded there when we were supposed to be home for three days. We, I called up the Hyatt. I got the healthcare worker discount. It was $109 a night. There was a hotel that was a little bit cheaper. However, we have two teenagers and getting them to share a bed in a hotel room is rough. So when we got to the Phoenix Hyatt, we said to the, I said to them, look, do you have a suite somewhere where my family of four could spread out? We may be here a while. And they had no suites, but he said, but as a globalist, I'm going to upgrade you to a high floor and adjoining rooms. So we got two rooms where we could shut ourselves off from our kids. And we had two rooms for the price of one room with my status. And honestly, in the stress that we were under missing work, being stuck without clean clothes in a city where we had not planned to stop, having 
having that benefit was enormous. It probably made it worth it what we invested. Um, so there is some benefit to having a place to call home away from home. Um, you know, my, my husband didn't understand it. Sometimes when you're getting status, you have to do what's called a mattress run, which means you book a hotel room and you don't sleep there. You check in and you get the night. So there was a very cheap hotel, about 30 minutes from our house. I booked, I, I dropped my kids off at music lessons. I had just gotten off work. I ran over there. I checked into the Hyatt. I actually took a shower, brewed myself a cup of tea and watched an episode of um, Undercover Boss while my kids were finishing their music lessons. Then I went and picked them up and went home. And I told my, my husband when we got home, I was like, this is awesome. I just, we're staying at the Hyatt tonight. He's like, what do you mean? I said, well, it's a mattress run. We're, we, we've got a reservation. Well, why are we not there? Why are we not staying there? And I'm like, because we don't need to stay there. Why would we I don't call even... ourselves 30 minutes away just to sleep? We paid for the room. We need to go stay. He wanted to drive back into <laughs> just Rockwell stay there. just to go stay there because we were paying for it. But See, uh, I don't tell my husband about mattress runs. <laughs> and that we might overwhelm you Just Just to be clear, somebody said, is this program for Hyatt only? What she's talking about, Globalist, is for Hyatt only. No, it is not this program in general, not, but that was just very specifically about globalists. And I love that, Katie. Like that's a lifestyle uh, change that uh, that you needed to, to make. And I, I love that. Uh, Jessica, go ahead. I want to speak to a comment that I saw from Donna. Um, Donna, there is no breakfast in the world worth $250 unless it includes airfare to Paris. Donna, you are talking to your people. <laughs> Katie and I would never spend $250 for breakfast anywhere in the world, including Paris, unless we flew there too. Yes, that is 100% true. But dot, dot, dot. If I'm going to check into your hotel for $109 a night and you want to give me breakfast that you value at $250, whether I value it or $250 or not, whether I would have spent that $250 or not is really moot. Um, not have spent that, but they're giving it to me for free. So mm -hmm. would I have spent the $75 to Valet Park in that hotel last weekend? Uh, sorry, guys. Heel. No, I would not. I would have walked five blocks in the heat not to do that, but I didn't have to. So I didn't have to pay for breakfast at our hotel last weekend. It was $55. It was a slinger. I don't know if you guys know what a slinger is, but it's like literally like chili over eggs. We drank too much the night before. <laughs> I would not have paid $50 for that. Okay. But that's what they were valuing it at. And that was what was comped from our rooms. So I just want to like, from a value standpoint, let you guys know, you probably are talking to two of the cheapest Jay Goot loungers. Um, I, the only person cheaper in the lounge than me is my husband. All right. And um, we could talk about that story if we get a chance, but I don't want to, I don't want to de derail too much, but if you're like, I wouldn't pay that. Well, guess what? Neither would Katie Neither or I. Neither would we. Right. No, that's and why I, we love I, It would need mimosas. Yes. You get all that. And Joel, do you want to jump in there too? I know you wanted to talk about this, this comment as well. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's show just, have Jessica show the the suite that she got as well Oof. as the cheapest member of the lounge. This but yeah, I want to address stupid, Melinda's question. This is a very, very common question. People get overwhelmed um, working rules one and two. By the way, rules one and two, very simple. Look every day, day and go where the deals are. It is that simple. If you haven't seen our 10 sites free free training, um, we show 10 hidden features on free websites that you can use to find the most unbelievable deals you've ever seen without using any points whatsoever. Um, so comment 10 sites, we can send that to you. Now, we also have a training called Four Steps that we just did last week. Um, you'll have to be patient. We haven't finished uploading it yet, but um, we did a Four Steps video just last week that breaks this down and shows you four simple steps that you can use, whether you flip burgers at a fast food restaurant or bill at $500 an hour as a doctor, lawyer, or surgeon. Um, so four simple steps and 
we break this down for you and we even take it a step further so that you can focus on what's most important if you spend less than 50 grand on credit cards you can focus on what's going to give you the most leverage if you spend more than 150 grand on credit cards so you can always prioritize where you're going to do this and if you try to do it all at once yes it is extremely overwhelming so take one baby step at a time get better at this build more confidence build more points hoard more points and before you know it you will be traveling far better than you ever imagined would be possible and you're talking to someone who's also extremely frugal and um, my, yes. I'm no longer frugal. I will no longer fly in less than business class if I'm crossing an ocean, but I'm, a ch I'm very much a cheapskate, but I have a way to do it that allows me those luxuries. So, um, those are two things and that gives us more money to spend on other stuff that we like, right? Shopping, yeah. booze, the whole thing. Excursions. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and also learning when we spend, how we spend so that we can earn the most points. So that we can put it towards travel. So guys, I mean, this is a layered, it, it's, it's an elephant. So you got to eat it one bite at a time. It mm -hmm. is a layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. And, and none of us got there overnight. We didn't. Yeah. And that's why I want you to comment free coaching. Again, you can schedule a quick, what, 10 minute call, 10, 15 minute call with one of our coaches. And that'll give you an idea. And we can lead you to the right, like the videos that we're talking about here, or tell you if the lounge is a fit for you. It may not be a fit for you. Right, ladies and ladies and Joel. <laughs> yeah. So Katie's job is she kind of helps you figure out if it's even really a fit at all, or if she, mm -hmm. you're doing best on the um, free resources. And then if you end up on the phone with me, it's more of like, okay, we think this could work for you. Now pick my brain. What you got? Let me, I'm actually really good. I am married to the king skeptic of the universe. And so, um, can I just tell my story really quick, Joel? I'll go really fast. I'll talk really fast. So I'm married to the king skeptic of, of the universe. I'm also, if you, if you haven't figured it out yet, I might be a little bit of a big personality. Here, let's show so, your husband. While you're oh, at it. Yeah. yeah. You can show the picture of him like attacking me. Um, there's like a picture in Dallas of him, like, yeah, right where Kennedy was his shot. tongue so out at me. Like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That was our room. This is our room that we, okay. So this is our suite. That's my husband. Okay. We'll talk about the suite. I love his t-shirt. I didn't weird. mean to interrupt. You can keep, no, 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 you're good. Him. Um, so yeah, so this was the bomb suite that we got upgraded to. <laughs> um, you, oh, Donna, we have the same Donna, me and you we're soulmates, girl. You, if you think you might be interested in the lounge, you tell him to put you on with Jessica and, you and I and my husband and your husband will get on the phone and we will talk about all this stuff. Um, anyway, so I, for once, I'm usually a forgiveness, not permission girl. So I'm like, I know you're going to be fine. You're going to love this. I'm just not going to ask. So you don't tell me no. Um, but this time with the lounge, I did it right. Okay, Rosalind. All of y'all with the husband. Rodelise has on, the same husband. I, I can vouch oh, for that. I'm sorry, We're still working that on him. That's all right. So Rodelise, when you get on your coaching call with me, you make sure your husband's there. You guys do not come to these without your husbands because I am the queen of squashing objections. So my husband, um, I got on my call with Joel and this is going upstairs into our suite. Um, I got on my call with Joel and I had my husband there and I thought I was doing so good. And I knew this lounge thing was going to be a crazy, um, a crazy thing. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I knew there was magic in there. And we got off the phone and I was like, what do you think? And he said, couldn't we take a trip for that? I said, yeah, maybe two, but there's more to this than that, you know? And so he was dragging his feet and um, there was going to be this video that I really wanted to see. And so finally, I'm a business owner. I own a hair salon and um, here's our awesome bathroom. You guys, this bathtub, whoa, whoa, sorry whoa. for the picture of my leg in the bathtub earlier, but I literally took pictures of me my legs in this bathtub and sent them to like six friends um, while I was there. Um, but uh, so my husband, um, I ended up, I was like, all right, he's not answering me fast enough. He didn't say no. I don't really want to push him. So I called my accountant and I said, hey, um, Charlotte, I travel for work and I do business coaching. I think I could do travel coaching. Guys, this is a letter from my concierge. Um, Oh. Telling up, my husband had gotten a little bump at work. And so I was like, hey, we're celebrating. And my husband got a promotion. We've got friends in town. Um, and, um, 
you know, can we, is there any way we can get an upgrade? And that was from our concierge saying, congratulations on your um, promotion. And here's some wine that they did not have to give me. And on top of this beautiful suite, enjoy wine on us. So that was really nice. Um, so I'm making this a longer story. Accountant, Jessica, hey, I can travel for work. I can do coaching for work. Can I write off travel coaching? Hey guys, the answer is yes. You can write off your travel coaching. If you travel for work, you can write off coaching to learn how to travel cheaper. So um, I did that. I called Joel and I said, um, I have my new Chase card coming in the mail. Um, can I put, can I give you a deposit? And then can I put the rest of it on this new card when it comes, it's gonna get the better points. And he said, absolutely. That's exactly how you how we would have you do there it. it is. Which is That's conversations awesome. I have with people every day. Um, so we can, you know, get a deposit from you. And then when you get your card that you want, get the right, the big points on the right card. And then about four months later, my husband was like, what are you, we had been on a couple of different trips and he's like, what are you watching? What is that? I was like, oh, that's that training. And he's like, we decided to do that. I'm like, oh yeah, Charlotte said we could write it off. And then that was the last. And then we didn't talk about it again for a little while, but now my husband, who's in the very background there, checking his phone, probably playing Candy Crush. Um, <laughs> that's our two uh, living rooms, by the way. He was standing in the second one. There was one on this side and then one on the far side, too. They both had big sectional sofas in them. It was insane. Full kitchen. No stove, but like dishwasher and the whole nine yards. That's the second living room. Um, so anyway, all of that to say, like, we don't spend, you know, money like that on a course like that. Why is that? Um, but I can tell you that we have probably 10 times our investment in the last 18 months since we joined the lounge. And I want to pull this up real quick too. Jessica, thank you for that. Uh, how much does the lounge get on a call with us? We don't discuss pricing here in our live streams. One, because pricing can change. We want this to stay as evergreen as possible, but uh, trust me, just jump on the phone call and it's really more to find out what your needs are rather than a big sales well, push. And you know, like well. that's, I, let me chime in on that too. Like we get asked that a lot. We'll say it's not cheap. It's not for everyone. That's mm -hmm. why we offer so much for free so that you can see if what we teach is useful to mm -hmm. you because the paid version is a, a lot more of that and B personal support. That's what you're paying for. That doesn't come cheap. So it's, that's why we have a free coaching call. We'll help you decide. And trust me, 99% of people are perfectly fine with what we have for free. Mm -hmm. And with that said, that what I will say is, you will we, see a lot of people say that they have over tenfolded their investment in the lounge. And if that's the case, do you want a $27 ebook if you're going to tenfold your investment? Or do you want a real investment that is going to grow, that is going to give you skin in the game, that is going to give you incentive to actually make a significant change in your life, in the way you travel for the rest of your life? You don't do that with a $27 ebook. And let me join here. A couple of people said, who would I need that. to call? One second, uh, just oh, yeah, comment yeah. free coaching. And that, that way you can get on the phone yeah. call. And, and you I also want to tell you some of our, a lot of our uh, people are here helping out with answering your questions. We're a little backlog. So if we don't get to you right away, we are going to go back and comment and get you all the information. So not to worry, even if we don't do that right away, we'll get, we'll get back to you. Katie go and then Joel. And then I do want to comment on this thing when somebody said, do you have to be really well off and do That's this all the time? That's what I want to comment okay, on. Okay, good, good, good. You, you have good, got good, the good. two, every person here. I am a nurse. My husband's a small business owner. We make normal money. Jessica yeah. owns a hair salon. She's a hairdresser. Her husband. I own a two person hair salon. So I don't own a 50 person hair salon. <laughs> I literally own a salon suite, a small salon suite. And my husband works in IT um, for the government. So, you so know, the answer we... to that is no. And, and you also, you know, a lot of people that come into the lounge, first of all, the program works for everyone because we have free resources. If the lounge isn't right for you and we have top tier resources, if you're ready to really push the envelope. But I, I'm a normal person. We don't travel in business class. We don't travel in first class. 
This past week, I did a redemption of points that was phenomenal for my family. The, uh, I spent points and I got a seven cent redemption on economy tickets because that's how we travel at this point in our lives. Hopefully later we'll be able to travel differently. But right now we're traveling with five people uh, to two different continents to see family multiple times a year. And who has that many points? Not, not me. So, you know, I got $13,000 flights two days ago for $700 cash. Wow. Wow. So where was it to? Where is it to? Uh, to well, we're flying into Madrid and and home through Lisbon. My sister-in-law lives in Lisbon. So my my mother and my two kids have never been to Europe. Uh, we are not wealthy globetrotters by any stretch of the imagination. We are normal everyday people and we use our normal everyday income and spend on our credit cards to earn points to do this. So points that we got from a sign up bonus in about nine months of regular everyday nurse and small business owner spending got us enough points to take five of us to Europe. So it, I, I truly believe that it's for everyone. The lounge is not for everyone, but Jay Goot is for everyone. I love if it. You Thank you for that. value travel above other things. Like we have to make a priority that we choose to do travel. And like, instead of, I don't collect junk in my house. I choose travel. I'll shop at the Goodwill with Katie. I choose travel. Like I don't we're get making your nails done. Me either. We're <laughs> making other concessions because we value travel over other things. So this is not because we have fifty thousand dollar travel budgets a year. Mine's like ten. You need a t-shirt. And I want to take. I choose four travel. Trip. I choose In travel. Cursive. <laughs> And mm -hmm. really pretty, really cursive. I choose travel, right? I love that. We need that and for I the swag love, shop. We do. And uh, as a commenter, I'm a nurse too. And my with my family, we love traveling. I love traveling on a beer budget with a champagne lifestyle. Amen. My dad's been saying Happy Nurses Week, a couple days late. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'll right. chime well, in on that too. Like, yeah. look, this isn't about selling you the lounge. This is about selling you on pushing yourself to take the next step whatever mm -hmm. that next step is. If you only travel once a year because that's all you can afford, get on a free coaching call and we will send you our free guide that will show you how to get two to $5,000 in free travel per year. You don't need to join our, our, you know, what you might consider an expensive coaching program to do that. We'll show you how to do mm -hmm. that. If you already have the right cards and already have the points, we'll show you how to take the next step and get more out of those points. If you don't have a lot of points, but have the right cards, we'll show you how to earn more without turning your life upside down with lots of sign-up bonuses. So, And on, honestly, the most remarkable thing about this company and why I own two businesses and still decide to work with them is because if you're not a right fit, we're not going to let you join. Mm -hmm. We're not going to take your money. If we can't <laughs> get you redemptions like we're promising... I mean, you have to do your part and earn the stuff. If you're not willing to learn the stuff in the village, guys, watching these videos, you're not going to be willing to learn it there either. So we vet you and make sure that you're the right fit so that you will sing our praises too. And if it's not, it's okay because it's not for everyone. Well, and that's, that's a very important thing to point out too. Like our coaches have, like all of our coaches do this. They all have their own careers. They do this because they're passionate about it. So we have limited availability. We don't want someone who's not going to learn how to do this and just take up all of our group coaching time asking questions because they didn't do the homework. So, you know, this is just as much us vetting you to make sure you're a fit for our program as it is you vetting us to make sure our program is a fit for you. Joel, um, give away. Give away. Give yes. us something, Joel. Thank give you. us something. Prizes, I'm a, I'm prizes. The, <laughs> I'm the Wrangler today. And I have well, and this, so we made it. this so this is part of you know, part of our education, because we knew we were going to get get off off on tangents talking about this. And it's a good so tangent. I love it. We there are five ways to get luxury accommodations uh, for less out of pocket expense than a budget hotel. So just this this weekend, I went or not this weekend last month, I stayed at a budget hotel for the exact same price that Katie and Jessica and Stephanie and many of our members stayed at much nicer accommodations. Um, so there are five different ways. Name two. First person to name two, um, not just one, but two. And I can't tell. If you answer them in two separate comments, I can't tell. 
Um, but uh, there you go. I see one. I'm not going to name them by name, but I think I, I saw two that are status and points. So Brooks from that's above will let us know. Those are two of some of the easiest ones. Um, so points, number one, easiest to earn. Most passive way to earn, way more valuable than dollars. Points are the number one reason. Always have points. That's rule number two of the Jagu way of travel. Status. We also talked about this. It doesn't take top tier globalist status. It does take some level of status because you're 10 times more likely to get what you ask for. Even if it's the lowest tier status, if it's silver with Marriott, if it's Discoverist with Hyatt, or whatever, just having status gives you permission to ask for more. I have and a we winner. have mass, entire master classes on how to ask. Ma Andy's master class, all of our coaches attend. Andy is our Hyatt. Andy and Joe are both our Hyatt globalist experts. And our coaches attend their sessions on how to get what you want. Oh, and Katie, you, ha we, you have to tell your story of, of how... <laughs> Andy demonstrate Mira demonstrated getting a suite. Andy demonstrated getting one when they don't even tell you one is available. And then you went and outperformed them all with the the president. <gasps> yeah, that was and in San real, Diego. Real, real yeah, quick, that, our winner is yeah. Donna St Staccioli, and I'm probably saying it wrong. Donna, I'm so sorry. I butchered it, but that's our winner. So yay, Donna. So all right, Donna, you can tell yay, your Donna. former husband you want a hundred dollars. Travel <laughs> savings card. card. Yes. Save save our off husband, your next trip. Donna. So Katie, yeah, be, so be, be, we're, we're talking long, but be quick with that. I want it. I want you to share that, and then I want to elaborate on number three, four, and five. So we were we were at San Diego at our last meetup, and then Mira got this. Um, Stan and Mira got this amazing suite. It was enormous. Had both lock offs, so two bedrooms on each. You know, one bedroom on each side, and then Andy, who's our top tier travel coach, who has practically lived in Hyatt's for months on end, who never stays in a regular room, got there late and he couldn't get a suite. And he was so frustrated. He was like foaming at the mouth a little bit. And he stayed up until like one in the morning. He kept asking, kept asking, kept calling back. And he finally got a suite. And then the last night of the trip, I was staying with Mira. So she left the day before I did. And myself and Melanie, who's also one of our lounge graduates that takes calls when you're interested in joining. Uh, we were there, we're both globalists. And we decided we wanted to shoot for the bigger suite than even what they had. And we just went to the front desk. It, and at this point, it was just kind of a game because it was just the two of us. We didn't need a huge suite, but you know, I think it was a Monday night. I was like, ah, nobody's coming into presidential suite on a Monday night. And we just asked the little guy real nicely and smiled. And he said, oh, I'll have to ask my manager. I said, oh, isn't it just better to ask for forgiveness? He's not going to care. It's a Monday night. And we ended up in a suite with marble floors, chandeliers, a view of San Diego Bay. It was it was so much fun. And, you know, I may never do that again, but it was certainly a fun ride. And, um, you know, there's, there's lots of ways to get a much nicer hotel than what you're used to just by following these tricks. It may not be the highest global at thing this year. That was kind of a, a flash in the pan, but there are other ways to get status. Some of the credit cards that we recommend that you get give you automatic status with some of these hotels. So, see, I and then you've got to know how to ask, and that yeah. is what we all cheer each other on and, and celebrate within that lounge group. Because I don't care mm -hmm. about the biggest room either. If it wouldn't have been, I would never have worked as hard as I worked for Dallas if Katie wouldn't have told me it wasn't possible. It was like nine text messages, three emails, and and talking to the front desk four times. I got told no all those times except for the last one. And I'm going to so leave in what no 13 times. I love that. First of all, I love that you pulled a Jessica and did the ask for forgiveness later, which is awesome. And then mm -hmm. I just put on here a comment recommended cards because Katie mentioned that too on on having the right card. So comment that and we'll send that to you as well. I am seeing that Facebook is limiting right. the amount of links that we can post right now. So hang tight. You'll get the info. Yeah. Ask Nicey with a lot of thank yous. I love that. All right, Joel, what you got? They're, pictures, they're just real quick pictures oh. of Katie. Oh yeah. That was it. Sweet. That was me and Melanie. We were best buds that night. That was, that Look was at incredible. That entry. Yeah. And I, oh my word. Two, 
two out out of town without your husband, so you were roomies in the presidential suite. Yep. We we would just take pictures of each other. We sat in bed, propped up, and watched the ships go by in the bay, and, oh. and wish that we had a bunch of friends to invite over. You know, yes. We even were going to go out to dinner the last night, and we were like, "Nah, let's door dash. Let's stay in here." So <laughs> it was great. I would too. That's awesome. And y'all take a picture right. of the screenshot of this. This is such great information, Joel. This 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 slide itself. Oh, and. Katie and Jessica, thanks for sharing your personal stories. Too. Yes, so, yes. And you oh know, honestly, goodness. that's what makes it, adds it so real. much. There, there are tips and tricks, and there's what you can do from behind your your computer screen at home, and then there's talking to other human beings who are out there doing it. And like I said, none of us are experts at all of this. We all have our own strengths. That's why we have six different coaches inside the lounge. So we have different six different aspects that each of them have strengths that they can help with. Um, so um, let's wrap this up with just the five different ways. Um, so friends with status, this is huge. Also massive benefit that we didn't even anticipate in the lounge. We've got members who will have loaned each other points because someone found a screaming deal and on, on a redemption they were going to, they didn't have enough points and someone said, you've got to go get that deal. I will transfer points to you or I will book it for you. You can pay me the points back. That's how crazy these values are. That's how amazing this family is that's in Jaygoot Lounge. Um, so if you have a friend with status, ask them. They will gladly book it for you because it kind of helps them out too. Um, we don't have time to get into that, but if you have a friend with status, that will get you. You, you get to borrow their status basically. That happens all the time in the lounge. So new members aren't there yet. Veteran members will totally help out. It's like um, a cooler version of friends with benefits, Joel. <laughs> the <laughs> yes. travel version. It's the travel <laughs> version. That's right. <laughs> um, upgrade, upgrade certificates. Jessica, that's how she got this suite. Didn't cost her anything. It's a perk that comes with being loyal to a certain brand earning status. Discount codes, also a perk of Jaygoot Lounge. There are certain members who will basically, you know, share their discount codes or share their privileges of being able to use their discount codes and call you a friend or a family member, and you can borrow friends' discount codes. So all sorts of different ways. It's just a matter of being creative and starting to think out of the box. Like I said, you don't have to learn this stuff overnight, but if you want to quit traveling the way you always have, you have to try something new. So just take a baby step at a time and work at getting more for your money with hotels. Work at getting more for your points by not frivolously spending them for a mere penny a piece when they could be worth a quarter. That's insane, you guys. That means 100,000 points. Instead of getting $1,000, you can get $25,000. Are you going to do that overnight? This way, no. it, it means if you get 25 cents redemption. That means every dollar that you spent to earn those points, get a quarter back. Like that, that's, that's mind boggling uh, on your that's Starbucks, good on math. your gas, on your, you know, it, it's like, it's just kind of hard to believe. And, and even if you don't hit, if you're like me, I may not hit that because I'm, I'm not going to be live flat business class any day soon, but I'm still getting five to 10 times what I would have gotten without the coaching. And because that's not my wheelhouse. Yeah. Can y'all tell I'm proud of my redemption, my points redemption? Cause I don't yes. do that every day. Like I'm still excited about it. I love yeah, that. My math. highest it's redemption so is 16 cents. And I'm like, oh, oh, dancing around. And then, that's you know, phenomenal. somebody they're like, I got 24. I'm like, I got 16. Leave me alone. You know? So we're all just like at this game together. Um, I, I, I think if you can't, if you're not an easy think out of the side of the box person, I'm not either, but guess what? I have friends who do. <laughs> and that's what my lounge membership does for me is I'm like on our lounge private Facebook page going, damn, I never even thought about that. Holy cow. I didn't know. And I have a lot of aha dumb moments. So mm -hmm. everybody, if we all come from, from different stories and different needs, which is great. So I love it. And All that's right, Joel. the cool part about our community, what, what, too, is everybody does. 
Yes. Why don't we just wrap up? Stephanie is the one missing person. She was one of three yeah. uh, team leaders who were at the Dallas meetup. She couldn't be here today because she's in Greece. <laughs> she, speaking of redemption multipliers, she spent $23 to fly to Greece using like about uh, $900 worth of points to book a $5,000 flight times two to fly to Greece. <laughs> um, so that's Stephanie. She is one of our coaches. She is also someone who would talk to you and, and figure out like what, what if any of our paid programs would be a fit for you. Uh, so she couldn't join us today because she's in Greece right now. Hashtag travel girl problems. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have staffing issues about every three months where it's like, holy crap, all you guys are gone at the same time. Like what is going on? And so, yeah, that's, that's Joel's real life where it's like, yeah. wait, how many people are left? How many people can take calls? How many people? That's yeah. Jay Goop problems. We call them. <laughs> Yay for Stephanie. That's right. That's right. I love yeah. it. So, um, that's what we've got today. Uh, today we thought it's been a while since we focused on hotels. I hope that was helpful. Um, please throw a comment if that was useful to you. Um, if you haven't taken advantage of free coaching, comment free coaching. Um, you might talk to Katie. You might talk to Anthony. You might talk to Shannon. Shannon is also a graduate of Jagut Lounge. Every one of our members has their own full-time job. They come to do this because they're passionate about it. They're not sales pros. I don't have a single sales pro on my team. They're all people who joined the lounge. It changed their life. And now they help out and help other people decide if it's a fit for them. Um, so, and I'm going to jump in here too. If you are just now tuning in, wait till we're done because you're going to be able to watch the whole thing. Katie and Jessica really gave us some, some really good knowledge bombs that were amazing. So just Right, rewind all the way back. Yeah. Don't skip it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good info. We appreciate Katie, it. Katie, Jessica, thank you so much. You guys are yeah. so awesome. This yes. is thank you. We've Oof. gone over, but Joel, you invited two loud no. mouths today. I so. mean, that's what you get. You should have known. <laughs> <laughs> okay, We, guys, we so knew it was coming. When it was so much. Okay. A 10 to 15 minute coaching call, unless you get me or Katie. But you know I, what? It's going to be good <laughs> stuff. It's going to be good stuff. Yeah, but I like that you let people an ask questions because like, you can see a lot of the questions that are in here. Like, what about, you know, is this a fit for me or what about, I mean, the, the best question that we got or comment was, this looks like it's people who live a pretty lavish lifestyle and, you know, none of us do. We, we are. We, we do you do guys want to see the real attention. story? Here it is. Here's me in my shorts. Um, I went and took my t-shirt off because these two cuties, um, <laughs> Looked so cute. I was like, damn. I ran up my stairs, took my t shirt off, Looking put lipstick good, on. <laughs> Looking took the good. Girl, girl. Rocking it. Real life. Yes. Real we life. Have, it you, is. You I know, know I got my little workout pants on, you know, the whole thing. We have <laughs> Those thank are you adorable, for... Mia. That does not count. That's Even right. when she's trying to not be adorable, <laughs> she's adorable. Stop it. And so thank you for your stories or the comments. Thank you, ladies, with two diamonds. I love it. Melinda says, love it. So we had a lot of good, good winners. And then Joel, we do have one more to give yeah. away with random How number generator. How many comments do we have? Uh, Miss Brooke from above. Man, I love this is her new name. There you go. She says we have 473. Dangity dang. Wow. So give me a drum group. roll love since it. we have a lot of people. Let me have a drum roll from all y'all. All yes. Uh, 446 is our winner. So Brooke from above will count back and let you know. She will uh, message you directly and you get a $100 travel savings card too. All right. That's three you gave away. I love it. Oh, somebody, you know what? Awesome. This is one of the best comments here. Let me see if I can get to it. Love the transparency. Thank you. Oh that yeah. That's the other us. thing you get with us. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do it if I couldn't be. Me either. We're, we're not good fakers. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, thank you, Barbara. She says, fun episode today. Thank Thanks, you so Barbara. much. Appreciate that. All right, y'all. So comment free coaching. Uh, Joel, what do we have going on in the lounge this week? And then we're going to get out of here. Um, open happy I hour. Know. Ask ask anything happy hour. Those are always fun. Um, we call them happy hours because they're evening and they're just less formal office hours. Uh, and then we're going to always tell Stephanie. people. It's not long I, after that, we're going to rope Stephanie in for a blueprint. 
lots of our whenever any of us take phenomenal vacations at unbelievable low prices we do blueprints of exactly how we did that so we'll probably be roping stephanie into a blueprint not long yep. after she gets back from her mira has trip. a checkpoint this week too so if you want to know about credit cards if you join in mira has that going on mm -hmm. and then of course yes we our just happy added hours. more time because she was booked like three months out or three weeks out on her on those sessions so who I need to go look because to my that. checkpoint was booked out until next. See, I'm learning too. Don't yeah. don't get it twisted. We're always in the in the constant learning mode. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty fun. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. That was really fun. It was yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks for having us. Mira her. approves. <laughs> oh, Mira likes your uh your um accent of hers too. She approved on that earlier. It's a little yeah. bit Bulgarian Brazilian, you know. I I'm going to work on it. <laughs> it was pretty good. All right. We will see you all where Joel and I are here every Monday, same bat time and channel. So we'll see you all next week. Thanks for tuning in. Happy trip.